Welcome to a brand new video in the field of building management systems. Lutz is by my side. Thanks for your time today. We have brought you an incredible and innovative new training system from the mobile train series. Last time we talked about the topic of EV charging stations, including electric vehicles and everything related to them. We'll link the video here again in case you're interested. Today, however, it's about a different topic and more of a fundamental one. Lutz, what have you brought us here? Indeed, the last topic, like you mentioned before, was about electric vehicles. This is, of course, an advanced topic for people who are familiar with electrical voltage. Today, we have a basic training system designed for the initial introduction to electrical fundamentals. That means all professions related to electrical engineering, everything that is electrically oriented, such as electronics technicians, mechatronics technicians, maintenance technicians from the industrial sector, from the building technology sector, and also from the agricultural equipment sector. So basic knowledge is conveyed here, and that's why the target audience spectrum is so broad and it can be used anywhere, wherever electricity and voltage are present. That means this trainer also deals specifically with the topic of direct current, alternating current, and especially three-phase current as well as transformers. We will go into detail on that later. The mobile train series offers the advantage of complete mobility. This means we provide a comprehensive suitcase system with everything you need, ready to go. In the lid, you'll find the needed tools, cables, and everything you need. Exactly, Lutz will show it briefly. You'll even find a nice notepad included here if you want to make some handwritten notes. That means you'll really find everything completely needed in the system. The suitcase has wheels, which means it can be easily transported and it is not heavy. This means we can carry it easily and comfortably, even without daily workouts at the gym. We find everything very compact in the system. Also, as always with LN, there's an e-learning course included. As you can see it down here on our mobile device, we'll get into that later. So let's, let's dive into the topic right now. You can now see our beautiful training system with a variety of measurement options here. Let's, let's start directly with the highlight. What is special about this trainer? Basic systems, direct current, alternating current. Yes, that's available, but we have incorporated a few refinements here that are very important for training. Yes, as you already mentioned, in the direct current circuit, in the alternating current circuit, everyone knows we are at low voltage. You can definitely simulate a lot there, and you can work a lot with the students. But what is always difficult to represent is a three-phase circuit. Referring to the three-phase alternating current system, to map this in low voltage with a regular power connection, you need a bit more knowledge. I don't need anything else. I just plug in this connector, turn on the power switch, and then the system is ready to operate. That means the entire power supply is provided through this. Everything we need in terms of low voltage power supplies or electronics is built into the case. And we also get a three phase power supply for our three phase system here, which we can optionally operate in a star delta configuration to get a basic understanding of what three phase current is, how it behaves and what makes it special. Because the direct current circuit, yes, that's definitely the entry point. It's very easy to handle. Then it gets a bit more complicated as you start dealing with alternating quantities. What is a frequency? What is an amplitude? How can I change them? And how do certain components like resistors, capacitors, and so on behave in an AC circuit? And then we have the three-phase AC circuit, which has a phase shift of 120 degrees per phase to show how, for example, motors and transformers are operated. I can see that everything is executed with absolute safety. We have our safety measuring sockets available in both 4 mm and 2 mm versions. The corresponding measuring cables are also providing this touch protection, so no one can get in touch even with the low voltage. Lutz can gladly show this as well. Exactly, there are two special features. One, you mentioned, everything is executed using safety technology. 
That means we have safety measuring sockets, which you see here, and also safety measuring leads. That means we have no exposed tips, even if someone accidentally, let's say, tries to insert them into a larger socket, they won't fit at all. And even if they are somehow forced in, they are still insulated, so nothing can happen. What is special about this that we also have the measuring leads, which have four millimeters safety measuring sockets on one side and two millimeters safety measuring sockets on the other side because it is usually the case that all commercially available testing and measuring devices, no matter where they come from, fundamentally have four millimeters connections. Okay, if I wanted to take a measuring lead, a two millimeters one, it wouldn't work if I plugged it in. So I need the adapter measuring lead. Wonderful. That means you have now selected a range of exemplary measuring instruments here, and any other permissible measuring instrument can also be used together with the training system. The measurement devices are freely selectable. What is already available can be used with the trainer. I can use what I have already, including oscilloscopes and multimeters. Especially with alternating quantities, it is beneficial if you can represent it graphically. So, using an oscilloscope is recommended, but not absolutely necessary. Okay, we don't have any simulated values, but all these signals I can measure by myself. The electrical values are all real and therefore independent of the measuring device. Exactly. That means we have different kinds of lighting here, we have various types of switches, we have different potentiometers, we have DC motors, and we have various relays. So we have DC and AC relays to show how various types of relays work with different voltages. This is even an audio signal generator, isn't it? Exactly, that's a small loudspeaker. It's a signal generator to also show how sounds are produced and possibly even frequency dependent, low or high tones. So really a complete package. We have both light elements, audio elements, and all these standard elements that you encounter not only during training, but also later in professional life, whether it's switches or relays, as you just mentioned. For maintenance and servicing, this matters. I need to locate devices, identify them, and know how they work. And for the maintenance personnel, it is also very important that once you have thoroughly understood a circuit, you then develop troubleshooting strategies. For this particular case, we have built in a fault simulator here that has a variety of faults. The descriptions can be found in the documentation. And when these faults are activated, my circuit, which I have set up, naturally reacts quite differently. And now I need to come up with a strategy on how to achieve my result in a short time based on measurements and deduce from my fault conclusions what might be defective carefully and thoroughly. So the trainee can first gain experience with a system that is in completely proper condition, build up their knowledge, understand how to properly measure the various elements here, and which measurement modes to use with the measuring devices. And then in the next stage, you are able to, like later in professional life, analyze faults. A fault simulator without hints. Turn on the fault and close the cover. So, visually, I don't have any indication that there's an error in the system. Then I really have to proceed step by step, work out the fault, and ultimately document it so that I can clearly see where the error is. Once I have found the fault, I simply switch it off by flipping the switch, and the system is back in normal condition. Wonderful! Just a quick note here, you can now clearly see the version for North America. You can actually easily tell by the different circuit symbols, especially the symbol for the resistor. Of course, we also offer the European version here. That means, with the other standardized circuit symbols, depending on the customer or market, we naturally deliver the appropriate product. Wonderful. Now this element catches my eye, Lutz. That means we have different transformers here. I see not just two, I see three coils with this clamp, which I assume holds the iron core, right? Yes. In the end, you only see one transformer, but with three coils. And behind this bracket, there is an iron core. This iron core is detachable. 
If I were to put the case down now and remove the clamp, it would obviously rattle. That means the iron core would fall out very quickly unless, and this is also an insight you can gain here, I power the part. I connect it to voltage and when current flows the iron core contracts and it holds even without the clamp. Normally without a clamp, as soon as they turn off the switch, it's over. Then it rattles. That's why I just put this clamp over it so that the thing doesn't fall apart. Now we see different winding ratios here. 300, 300, 900. If I take 300 twice, it becomes an isolating transformer. That means I have a transformation ratio of 1 to 1, but I can create galvanic isolation. But I can also generate different transformation ratios from 900 to 300 or from 300 to 900 so that I can step the voltage up and down. I can apply a DC voltage or an AC voltage to see how it works. Had bad experiences with DC voltage. Yes, it definitely works when you turn it on, but then that's it. With alternating electrical current, it typically works quite normally, so you can generally create very different conditions here. I think you have developed a very great and versatile system here. Namely, when I hear what you have just told about this transformer box, that could actually be an entire course on its own. This is an almost a comprehensive course in the AC circuit on its own, where there is a complete and detailed chapter solely about the transformer and in-depth transformer ratios. Just like it is here with relays, with the DC and AC relays. You can see it again here in the course. Let's take a look right away. Yes, the functionality of the relays are demonstrated in great detail and comprehensively so that the learner can independently and thoroughly work through the theoretical instruction and then deepen it through experiments. And of course, we have the advantage that all elements here function independently. That means I don't have to work through it chronologically. Instead, as a teacher, you know, I can say, today we are dealing with the area of three-phase current or AC slash DC, and I can focus individually on what I want to convey in the lesson. Exactly, individual learning is the focus here. We know what it looks like everywhere. We have a shortage of skilled workers, we have a shortage of teachers, and the workload at schools is quite high. That means we are getting more and more trainees into the schools, and I sometimes have to find alternatives. And that's why the training system is compact and mobile, so I really have the chance to move to another room or, if necessary, just take it with me to another learning location where I have an instructor. Or if the instructors, due to the training situation, need to help out or teach somewhere else, they can easily take their material with them. And as you have explained several times, we naturally also have our Lebsoft e-learning course included in the system, which of course completely follows the real experience learning concept. We will show it to you here. That means I see our new Lebsoft version here and basically in this e-learning course, you have the opportunity to acquire all the theory and you will be guided through the individual experiments. That means you don't have to come up with anything yourself everything is explained in the course. The trainee has the chance to go through this course independently. This means that the instructor can go through the e-learning course with them, but the trainees can also go through it independently with their account. There are many questions that need to be answered. There are knowledge tests, previously the theory, and this is how the trainee gains good knowledge in the end, where, of course, all the mistakes are also addressed. By the end of the course, the trainee will have acquired diagnostic competencies on this whole topic. At this point, I would like to emphasize once again how extremely extensive and comprehensive this course is. It definitely spans several training hours. That's completely normal because teaching direct current circuits, alternating current circuits and three-phase circuits just takes time. If I, as a new trainee, open this course now and want to work through everything from the first to the last page. Approximately, how long will it take? It depends on the prior knowledge and the project idea behind it as it's not processed sequentially. In the individual professions, I have a training project. 
If we want to learn how an electric machine works, so we have to deal with the three-phase circuit. So how will I do this with regards to hands-on learning? Therefore, project ideas are included in the course. So that I always know why I am doing this, you work with this trainer, then you do something else, but you will always come back to it. And yes, overall, if you were to add up the times, I would say easily teaching units. Assuming 90 minutes each session, I would say easily 30 teaching units, which is approximately about 30 teaching units in total. That's extensive. In summary, we have a compact system from the mobile train series here for the topics of AC, DC, three-phase current, and transformers. We have an absolutely and completely safe and reliable system that works efficiently both with safety measuring cables for wiring and with the various sockets. The trainer is ready for use in seconds, meaning we just need to simply plug it into the socket, turn it on, and then the device is immediately operational. The trainee can work independently with the system. He can sit down with it. Together with our real experience learning course, he can then work through the content using Lebsoft and acquire all the material, both theoretical and practical, on his own. And the system even includes a fault simulation, allowing us to quickly introduce errors into the system using simple switches, thereby promoting and more effectively training diagnostic skills in trainees. Lutz, would you like to add anything, such as additional insights or comments? I have indeed already worked on it with several trainees, and they enjoyed it a lot. They were glad, I would say, that they could always take it with them wherever they were sitting. And yes, I was definitely positively or really pleasantly surprised, and it was just fun. Because Lutz just mentioned mobility again. We will also show you a picture of what this case looks like when closed, so you can easily imagine it and really see that it is indeed a very compact, portable system that can be quickly moved from A to B. If I need it at the location today, I can pack it into the car. I don't have to assemble anything major, just put the lid on and I'm ready to take it to the next location. Great Lutz, thank you very much for your time. A great additional system from the mobile train series. Many more will follow. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email, leave comments, or contact us wherever you prefer. We look forward to your feedback and hope you had a lot of fun with us.